So now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about cloud computing and what we can do with cloud computing when developing the next generation of mobile apps. So these devices that are shipping today, um, like the Nexus One, like the iPhone and many others in the market, um, are great devices because they have um, a good camera, they have a very large screen, uh, they have a decent quality microphone, they have a GPS chip, they have an accelerometer, they have a compass, so a great variety of sensors. Now, the real magic happens when you connect these sensors, like those I've mentioned, to the cloud, and you can use cloud computing to bring them to life. What happens in that case is the camera becomes an eye which can see the world. The microphone becomes a ear that can listen and understand what people say. The GPS chip be becomes a personal location device that knows or can know where you are at all times. So let me start with uh, voice recognition, which is uh, uh, a technology that we've had uh, for a couple of years now. I'll mention an example for you uh, on my Nexus One. Pictures of the Korean president and Barack Obama at the Blue House. Look, perfect recognition. I can click on the images link to see more images. Uh, and there are some great examples here. Another example of where cloud computing uh, technology can help is in the world of messaging. So imagine that um, you just want to send a message to a friend of yours. Um, so instead of typing, I can just speak. Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that I'm running a few minutes late to the party. Isn't that great? What we wanted to do, so we have, um, we have this amazing speech recognition cloud computing capability. And we also have a very successful language translation cloud platform. So what happens when we bring together speech recognition and language translation? So this is an application called Google Translate, which we have been working on. So say I'm in a country, um, uh, visiting a country on tourism, and I can't speak the local language, but I want to communicate with a person locally. Hello, my name is Hugo. Could you please show me the way to the beach? So here I'm asking for a translation from English to Spanish, and it gives me a text translation, but I can also get a spoken translation so that I can literally put the phone next to the other person and they understand what I say. Hola, mi nombre es Hugo. Mostrarme el camino a la playa. This is great. So that's, um, those are some examples of what we can do uh, with cloud computing uh, in speech and language translation. So now I want to talk another capability. Let's talk about the camera and what we can do with an, an application that we call Google Goggles. So say I am um, walking around uh, Seoul here in Korea and I see this beautiful building um, and I'd like to know not only which building this is, but maybe learn a lot about its history as well. So I took a picture and Google recognized this um, as, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> there you go. So I can click, for example, to get some more information from Wikipedia. The next application that I want to show you um, talks about or speaks to the power of uh, the new generation of location services on these devices. So say I'm in San Francisco and I'm trying to drive to uh, the Hilton Hotel. So instead of looking for the address uh, for the Hilton Hotel and then typing it into my car, um, I can simply type Hilton Hotel and Google will tell me about all of the different options that I have. So I say I want to go to the Hilton Hotel in the Financial District. I can just click on Navigate and get directions to this destination. What I will now show you are some of the unique capabilities of navigation in the cloud computing world. So one of the amazing features of Google Maps navigation is that it can give me um, a uh, very accurate estimate of uh, the time to get to my destination by using real-time traffic. So in this case, I can just type on the icon here, and I get 
a bird's eye view of the entire route showing me, for example, where the traffic might be slow. Another great feature of a, a cloud computing navigation system is the ability to search for things along the route. So in this case, say that I'm looking for uh, a burger restaurant. What Google does in this case, it, it's, it searches for uh, burgers, but instead of just showing normal search results, it will optimize the search results to display the options that are along the route so that I don't have to go too far out of my way. Another feature of cloud computing navigation is the ability to see satellite maps or satellite tiles instead of just a uh, draw map. And another feature that uh, you, we can also only deliver because this application is connected to the cloud is what we call Street View. The last feature that I want to show brings together this cloud computing capability for local search and navigation with the voice recognition that you saw earlier. So imagine that you're driving in the car, you need a user interface that's very simple to use. It just need, it needs to work with a single touch and no more. Navigate to Armadillo Willis. So what I've done here is with a single touch and a natural voice command, um, I was able to um, start uh, directions to my destination. Um, I'd, say, I'd say that, um, like I mentioned earlier, we're beginning to see these trends um, here in Korea. Over the next year or so, we expect that um, connectivity pricing, data plan pricing will come down. We'll see a lot of these smartphones, particularly Android devices, coming into the market and a whole new ecosystem of cloud computing-based applications will be born.